challenge, and I think there are many benefits to uh, a standard infrastructure and getting an industry together on an agreement as to what that would be. It brings me back to the VHS and, and, and whatever the hell the option was, data tapes. But um, it's going to be a fight, and there are going to be some big players in, the, in, the, in it. You don't want to make your decision too early because you could be left with a data tape. So that's number one, is to uh, standardizing. Uh, you got to decide where you're going to uh, play your cards. Number two, there's a major risk to, to uh, what every, every development company is asking us, all of our development companies, we have different product types and all of them have their own uh, leadership. Everybody's asking the same thing, which is, okay, how do I future-proof our buildings? And to, that, that terminology is just so broad that it's almost unbearable to try to put your arms around it. And we have tried any number of times to quote-unquote future-proof our buildings. So we'll build a Class A residential building four or five years ago, and we'll put in the, you know, whatever we spend extra to core drill and put in cap, whatever it is, um, and mid boxes and, and non exclusive agreements and 50 different players, and it's an open architecture. And it's the best thing that anybody can think of, and it'll be great for the next you know, 15 years. And four years later, it's obsolete, nobody's using it anymore. And so it's a very frustrating exercise because you're talking about infrastructure. Infrastructure is a significant capital cost, and it's not a bridge with a 100 year life. So, what is its life? And we don't know that. That's what I'm just characterizing some of the, the, um, the reluctances to putting forth real money over standard practices across portfolios. Okay? So with a singular asset class and a singular ownership structure, um, you have the greatest likelihood of moving forward with that. And the more diverse the product type, the more diverse the ownership structure, um, and frankly, you know, just the, the access to capital, all sorts of other things. If it's not singular, it's going to be very difficult to standardize at all. But future proofing is very, very tough to invest in. Okay, let's let's.